Hey, it's Vanessa, the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly videos right here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Pellon's Easy Steam 2. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Pellon's new and improved Easy Steam 2. The packaging, it comes in these really convenient little bags. It comes with five sheets in here. They measure 9 inches by 12 inches, so it's plenty for your projects. And it also comes in a more lightweight version. So if you want to not add that much hand to your applique projects, you can use the lightweight version. And then it also comes in these tape versions. So for smaller projects, for hems, mixed media, for t trims and adding uh, smaller things to your projects, you can purchase it in a quarter inch wide tape and half an inch wide as well. The product is also sold by the yard so you can buy it this way as well and just keep a nice chunky stash on hand for all your applique projects. So I want to show you two different ways that you can use the Easy Steam 2 and one is for your basic applique projects. Here I have the Easy Steam 2. Now it comes with this gridded backing. The other side just has a plain paper but it does have two papers, okay? Now you can use either an applique from a pattern or you can freehand draw on here as well. So trace or draw and we're going to do that to the gridded side. So we're going to do just this little flower here just to show you a sample. So there it is on the gridded side. Let me cut this. And I'm just going to cut it to make a smaller piece and make it easier for me to work with. Here it is. Now we can peel off the opposite side. So you leave the gridded one on, turn it over, and this peels off real easily. That's the other paper backing. And you can see I haven't fused anything yet, but this does have a sticky film to it, all right? Now I want my flower to be purple, so here is my applique fabric. I will flip it over to the wrong side, and I'm just going to stick this on. Notice I haven't fused anything yet. So just finger press it there and it's nice and sticky so it'll hold. And now I'll go around and cut out my flower. All right, so here's my applique flower. Now I take my background fabric, which is this one, and now I need to peel off the gridded backing so that now we can fuse it into place. And if it doesn't come off easily, you may need to score the back with a little pin just to break the surface of the paper. But you can see that pe peeled right off. And again, there's another sticky film to it. So now I'll place it on my fabric wherever you want it to be. And notice that at this point it is repositionable. So if you want to move it, kind of stand back and take a look. I don't like it there. I want it over here. And when you finally have it in its final spot where you want to fuse it into place, then you can go ahead and fuse it down. And that's it. So for all your basic applique projects, this product works great. Here I did a little cupcake applique for this little mug rug. And although the product says that no sewing is required, if it is something that you're going to be washing and drying a lot, I do recommend that you still go around and machine stitch around it like I did on this sample. For the purposes of this video, we'll call this method the fuse once method because you only fuse it once it's in its final position where you want the finished applique to be, right? So now we're going to go to what I'm calling the fuse twice method. And that method is a little bit different, but it still kind of works the same way. Again, you can draw or trace your applique. Here I have a flower that's already been done. And so for this one, I'm going to remember I drew on the gridded side. I'm going to flip this around and peel off the other paper side. And even though it is a little tacky to the touch, instead of just sticking it into place, we're actually going to fuse it into place. So this is the first time we're fusing one time here. And once that is set in place, we'll go around it and cut out our flower here. And now we have, similar to what we had in the first method, we're going to go back and now peel this off. And again, you may need to score it a little bit, either with a pin or something sharp, just to help break the surface of the paper, like that. And it is sticky to the touch. So now, we can do two things. You can fuse it down onto your background fabric like I did here and then fuse it back into place or you can make something even more fun which I'm really loving to do and that is to make fabric stickers. So you can see that this is using this, this fuse twice method. I'm just going to stick this onto here and again remember that it's repositionable so if you don't get it right where you want it go ahead and do it again. 
So we'll just lay that there for now, but I'm going to show you something. I actually did it already for my letter E here. Let me score the back of this just to show you how I did it. Remember to trace it if it's a letter or something that's a, a design that's directional, make sure that you do it in reverse. But you can see it's sticky to the touch and now I can just come in here and finish off this little sticker design that I did to decorate a journal. And here's another sample of an applique I added to this cell phone cozy and you can see that without even machine stitching around it, the Easy Steam 2 really allows the edges of the applique to be nice and crisp with no fraying. So now that you see how easy it is to use the new and improved Pelon's Easy Steam 2, I hope that you'll go and give it a try. If you want to learn more about Pelon projects, make sure you visit pelonprojects.com.